Hey, what's going on? Thank you for tuning in to another What's in the Box product review. As you can see in the title of the video, I'm reviewing this uh, Wind Slayer cover for the GoPro. Uh, I don't know if it's HSU or if it's SU. Um, you know, sorry if I'm slaying that, but uh, it's a Wind Slayer. So basically, if you don't have the, the media mod for the, the, the GoPro or just another type of uh, mic system, um, you can use this to kind of combat the wind, uh, you know, when you're doing anything with your with your GoPro. This one says that it's for the GoPro 9, 10, and 11. Of course, I got the 11. Um, but let's see what is in the box. All right, so I'll open the box. And uh, these came with two uh, wind slayers. So I was a little surprised. Maybe I wasn't paying attention enough in the uh description of how many you get in the box but um this is nothing high tech or anything like that i'll put that to the side i'll show you how it goes on in a second but you get the hole in the bottom so you can put your gopro legs through um obviously there's a specific cutout so you get your display screen in the front and your uh, lens there's nothing on, on this side right here. This is going to be the back, so you have access to your touch screen. Your touch screen. Um, it's not exactly perfect. You know, you might have to move this up a little bit to get to all your uh, settings. And then, of course, you know, it's not exactly cut exactly right because obviously the power button is way over there. But it's not like it's not that big of a deal. And then on top, your record button is going to be right there. But uh, I'll show you how this goes on real quick. So you wanna scoop this over a little bit. And you're gonna, I'll show you how to take it off obviously. You're gonna scoot your legs out and then come from the front and push your action camera through the back and then there it is, there's your action camera. Um, and then when you go in, you're going through the back as well and you just kinda fit its way on the inside it feels like a nice a nice star foam so um i don't foresee it ripping or anything like that but your legs are in there you want to scoot that to the side like i said before kind of flip that up and get that out just like that but um like you see like a little pieces of foam that are coming up but uh, you know for 9.49 which at the time of recording this video that's how much it costs for 9.49 to get two of them uh, that's a pretty good deal, but, um, we're going to take this outside and, uh, put it through its paces. Cause obviously if I was to record it inside my house, there's no wind. So you can't really, sorry about my camera. This is one of my old cameras. It's, it's on the way out the door. But, uh, obviously if I was to record this on the inside of my house, there's no wind. So you can't really see how it records. Um, but as a matter of fact, I'll show you how it goes on to one of the attachments so you can see if you got some room. It's just a basic attachment to put onto your tripod. But yeah, it goes on there no problem. Uh, you have plenty of room to adjust your, uh, your mounts. So uh, like I said, we're going to take it outside, see how it works. Uh, I'll jump on my bike. If it ain't going to work on my bike, which I plan on using it when I'm recording anyway, uh, for the most part, then it ain't no good. But I'll get back with you in a few moments and let you know how it works. All right. This is a sound check with the Wind Slayer on my GoPro Hero 11. One, two, three. Check one, two, three. As you can see, I'm about 19 miles an hour. I'm talking regularly. Um, so, let's see if my voice picks up, how much wind you hear. And I'll try this again with the wind slayer off. All right, this is the sound check with the wind slayer off my GoPro Hero 11. You see I'm almost to 19 miles an hour as before 
Here is the wind slayer in my hand. Let's see if you can pick up the audio from the, the camera with the wind slayer off. I'm talking just as normal as I was before. This is about two months of use, like constantly having it on there. Um, the bottom hasn't torn at all. All right, guys. So, uh, obviously, I, listen, I'm not disappointed by what kind of audio I captured. Uh, obviously, I wasn't in the noisiest conditions, uh, but to be right around at 20 miles an hour um, and, and still be able to capture good audio uh, from just having this on there, that's pretty good for me. That's pretty good for me. I don't I don't plan on recording like that all the time, but uh, you know, if I'm doing some more bike reviews or uh, anything like that, obviously, you know, this might be a good setup just to go to, uh, just to capture some quick audio. Um, it wasn't the windiest of days, but like I said, 20 miles an hour, blowing right into the camera. I cannot see me being in any kind of worse conditions other than that but as always if you like what you saw please like and subscribe especially subscribe uh, i really would appreciate that it's free it helps me out it helps me bring you uh more content about stuff like this um but yeah you got any questions ask me down in the comments i'll try to get uh you know do my best to get back at you and uh i'll see you on the next one peace